Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business so that they can live at their highest value. Each episode we will bring you our favourite founders, CEOs and guest experts to share with you their insights and strategies to expand your wealth consciousness, your spiritual leadership and aligned business strategies. We know that living in alignment with your soul's mission is what fulfills you and we are here to show you how to achieve this in an energetically aligned way. If you haven't already, be sure to claim your free abundance activation in the Akashic Records. Go to louisahavers.com forward slash gift to unlock your abundance activation today. And if you'd like my support in having aligned success in life and business, then contact me at www.louisahavers.com and let's explore together if it's an aligned match. Get ready to live at your highest value and to expand into your next level of money as you elevate and receive more. You create more for others. Righty ho, let's dive into today's episode. Well, welcome back everybody. I am so excited for our conversation today. I have the phenomenal Tatiana Ivanova with me. Tatiana, a huge welcome. Thank you, Louisa. It's such an honor and pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. Uh, I've known Tatiana for a, a while now, and I'm just so delighted to have her on the show for her to share her wisdom with us. So for those of you that are new to Tatiana, Tatiana is a mentor for purpose-driven entrepreneurs who are determined to make a positive impact in the world. And she teaches entrepreneurs how to start and grow their business in alignment with their sole purpose. Yes, so important. Tatiana is passionate about heart-centered conscious entrepreneurship where she leads and empowers women around the world to awaken to their highest potential. And Tatiana made her pivot out of corporate world in 2017 and is now the CEO of Tatiana Ivanova Mentorship and founder of the Purpose to Profit Academy a platform to support entrepreneurs on their journey to greater impact and profitability. Oh, this is just phenomenal. What a a mission you're on, Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for introducing me. Oh, I'm so excited to to learn more about your journey. And we have a lot of people that have um, on the show and have conversations with many people who have done that transition from corporate into the entrepreneurial world and I always love to find out what was the the turning point for you where you were like I have to press this eject button and and change change what I'm doing how did that unfold for you yeah so the turning point for me was actually 15 years ago and it was really connected and related to a chronic condition that I had been battling for over 18 years um and the turning point was me laying in the hospital bed and literally dying and my you know some my doctors told my husband that I'm not going to make it and it was such a lowest point of my life where um you know, I was literally saying goodbye to everything and everyone because I was so weak and um, had a very critical condition with my health. And then a miracle happened. One of the nurses brought me this book that we all know about. It's The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. And I started reading it and I realized why I was there, (laughs) why, you know, why I was sick. And I said, if I could cause this condition, if I could cause this painful suffering, I can also heal myself. So not only I healed myself, I realized the purpose that is here for me. I realized that my, you know, I really realized the divine nature of me and that I have a greater purpose and mission. So that made me transition from my corporate world into um, really diving in and learning some modalities that I knew would really help other women to heal and awaken to their greatness, to their divine nature. So it took some time to transition. And then I opened my business as a healer, helping women really heal the layers of unworthiness and suffering and lack and all those, you know, things that don't serve us, that keep us in suffering and survival. 
And as my amazing clients were healing and realizing that there is a, you know, higher purpose for them. So that's when I transitioned into mainly helping women find their purpose and launch their purpose-driven businesses. So, yeah. Wow. It's just incredible, isn't it? When we can look back and have those light bulb moments and go, I can see how this is, how I've created this and how empowering it is to know that well, we created that so we can create anything that anything that we desire. I, I find it so empowering. So as you, you talk a lot about, you know, desire and helping people to really understand their heart, how, from your perspective, how do you differentiate between the desires of someone's heart and soul compared to the desires that we can have from our from our ego or our, our, our personality? Because it can, it can trip people up, can't it? Absolutely. Yes. So um, I want to start with um, telling you, telling the listeners that our desires are connected to our soul purpose. So we as souls come into this physical reality to learn some lessons and actually experience our desires that are connected to the overall purpose and overall mission of our soul here in the physical. So our desires are those very essential points for us to set us goals, right, and um, move towards. But the desire really originates in your heart and soul. It has this very rich, dense energy. And that energy is so potent and powerful that actually initiates and accelerates the manifestation. So the key for desire is, I mean, the key is to be connected to your heart desires. And I'll share with you, you know, what is the difference between heart desires and the desires of our personality or ego. So the desires of our heart, they are, they're bigger in scope and magnitude because our soul knows the overview of our purpose of why we're here, right? So our desires are something that would bring us immense joy and fulfillment, but also will take us outside of our comfort zone, right? So versus our personality desires, and I call them our personality wants and needs, they're, you know, more limited in, in the scope and magnitude. And since our personality seeks the path of less resistance, they are in their nature, they would keep you in the comfort zone, right? So they would keep you where you are because your ego, your personality wants to keep you safe and comfortable versus your soul desires they are they might be so big that they might scare you but in that is your growth and expansion right in that is your you know there there those are your stepping stones to success and greater fulfillment i love that yeah. Do you know it, it that really rings true so many times i'll um be talking with clients and they'll maybe they've had you know they've had some insight that they've had an Akashic record reading with me or somebody else or, or some information's come through about what their mission is their their soul's desire is and it's the human that has to kind of get on the same page um because they're thinking who me like who am I to do something like this and we can kind of separate separate ourselves from what our soul desires the moment we start to listen to this what if who am I mm. <laughs> can't someone else do it <laughs> I just wanted to go to the beach you know <laughs> I love that yes <laughs> exactly I just want to go to the beach <laughs> yeah yeah I, I don't want to have to do anything um you know uh too too big and uh the responsibility of it. I think that's the piece, isn't it? It's around alongside these desires that we have, there is an element of responsibility and the fulfillment of it mm -hmm. and how our relationship with responsibility can come into come into to play as we see these desires play out in, in business. How do you work with the with desires in the in the context of 
of of your business. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So um, to me, the first step is to be always connected to my heart. So this is also the number one step that I work with with my clients. It's this heart connection, soul connection, right? So um, and when it comes to following my desires in the context of my business, in the context of contribution to the humanity is really being tuned in and connected to my heart and soul and being aware of those sparks of energy, right? It comes as a spark. It comes as a very rich desire to serve or contribute or create something beautiful, magnificent for the community, for my people, for, you know, the global collective population. So it's the spark that starts it on. It's this ignition that just turns you on and you say, yes, I love this idea. I feel on fire. I feel the mag magnitude of my impact. I want to create it. Right. So and one of the examples was my recent Lionsgate portal event where you were an amazing speaker and it just came as a very strong desire to create a global activation event to really activate the energy in the collective. So I saw it so vividly and I felt the energy of the event before, two months before, and it was so strong, rich and powerful. And I said, I'm going for it. And when you say yes to your desire and when you start embodying the energy, magic happens. The universe just accelerates the entire creation process. Manifestation is just like done for you. You are just there allowing mm -hmm. all the goodness to come into your space when you embody that rich energy of your desire. So this is how I create in my business. And this is how I teach my clients to create from that spark of desire. I love that so much when, when you were speaking about being that energetic match um, and how manifestation is, is done for you. Um, I think it's brilliant because so often we can get caught up with doing the right things so that we become an energetic match to X, Y, Z. As you say, it starts all from that that energetic ignition of, of desire. Without that, we're just kind of going through the motions and not fulfilling what we're here, truly here to, here to do. That... That Lionsgate portal was amazing. You could feel the energy from the event that you created. It was absolutely ph phenomenal. So I have to congratulate you on, on that and, and following that spark. Yes, yes, that was it. And this is how I create my events. And um, it's just amazing the, you know, the energy the how people receive it I, I you know I receive amazing feedback from people all over the world up to events like this and it just starts with that one spark the spark of desire and then it just amplifies with its impact and magnitude to really contribute to people globally amazing absolutely amazing so we're just a, I'd love to dive into this a little bit deeper here so you talked about this is how you how you create so in terms of if there's if you like is you know there's a process what is the process of creating your desires in the in the physical reality something that people can kind of take away to make it, this feel tangible because everyone will feel that that spark within we know when we're feeling it don't we we can feel it yeah, absolutely. And I actually identify a five step that are essential for really creating your desires, manifesting your desires in the physical reality. And the first one is this heart connection with yourself, opening your heart every morning to open up to this really potent and powerful energy of love, of creation, right? And really being connected to what's coming through you, right? Like what is that spark? What is that desire? Because it has this very specific, almost condensed energy to it, right? Versus 
um, the energy of you or just wants and needs that are coming from your personality or ego, right, your mind. So once you identify that desire, once you feel that ignition within you, once you feel on fire, the second step that actually takes your desire from the metaphysical realm into physical is your imagination. It's actually seeing that in your mind's eye and really imagining it, seeing the pictures, visualizing it on a daily basis as if it's already there, right? So your imagination is this tool of your soul. It's so powerful to actually create something from the invisible world, something from this ethers, right? From the spiritual realm to actually take shape and form in the physical. This is the, you know, the work of your imagination. And it's fun to do, right? And it takes five to 10 minutes daily. You don't have to spend so much time doing this. It's just so much, you know, joy and play and creativity. So once you start imagining it, the universe literally starts creating it, right? So with you, for you, you are co-creating with this beautiful energy. And then the third step that I teach my client, clients to um, embody and be really disciplined with is your focus, right? Like what you focus on expands, what you focus on, you create. If your focus is scattered and fragmented because we have so much going on in our lives, right? We're constantly bombarded with so much information there's so much noise when we are fragmented in our focus we have we create fragmented results right so once you focus on what you desire and i want your desires to be big right they're big and they, like their magnitude is so beautiful that you only focus on that because you know it will have this global impact you know that will take your business forward you know so be, you know, dream big, trust your big desires and really focus on them. So focus is step, step number three. And then step number four is your intuition. It's your inner GPS, right? It's your inner guidance from soul that directs your physical action. So you have everything built in within you. Nothing is missing. You know how to get there. You know which step to take to actually create this in the physical, right? So being really tuned in within your you know, intuition, listening to your intuition, trusting the guidance, taking the steps, actually doing the thing, taking aligned actions, and the fifth one is really feeling it now. It's the feeling, it's the vibration, right? So feeling it as you are taking aligned action, being focused and really staying there, right? Staying on your path of creating that desire. And it just, you know, and also be aware of the magic that unfolds around you because, you know, uh, it's amazing how, you know, speakers find you, speakers refer, speak. I mean, I'm just talking about this example of this event, you know, how mm. people find you and they sign up, like how this big event becomes this global movement. It just such a magnificent process to witness as you follow your desire. I love that. There's so much that you said there that is just so helpful for people to really embody their creative power and it is a real reminder about how powerful we are it's it is just in, incredible and uh, i love how you're saying about the magic unfolding um because it, it it's so funny isn't it when people say i don't know why i don't normally go down this road or whatever but because i did then i met this person or um, you know, how the universe creates it so that, you know, ev everything lines up and we, we we find each other. And mm -hmm. the support is is there for people who are looking for the support and, you know, being supported by the universe um, to, because we co-create with the universe, don't we? It's 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 a, a, a dual uh, part, a partnership. Mm -hmm. Often people will... Uh, 
say to me around, um, I think this is where people, I'd love your thoughts on this, where people can get into, we talked about aligned action and where people can kind of tip into aligned action and tip into, I've just got to keep doing, 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 doing. But if we're in the doing, 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 because we feel like there isn't enough action being taken, um, one of my reflections is that then you're not creating space for the universe to mirror your action and uh, you can actually allow, you've got to trust and allow that it's happening um, by creating that space and holding that space so the universe can bring bring the energy and energy in, if that makes sense. Absolutely. And I, yes, doing, and you know, as entrepreneurs, we often are so busy wearing different hats, you know, promoting, marketing, organizing, planning, replying to message, all our messages. And what I'm finding is being and doing is such a beautiful blend and a beautiful dance of co-creation because just by doing alone, not being that business owner, that woman, that, you know, impactful entrepreneur, you won't be creating those results, right? So it's this beautiful dance or balance of being and creating space for your being right to emerge through you embodying that highest identity and from that place taking aligned actions and doing so what i'm finding is also doing could be horizontal or vertical meaning you could be doing a lot of things right or you could just allow space and take one step that would actually change everything for you, right? So it's just a completely different way of running your business. But the first thing that needs to be really aligned is your being, right? So yeah, so true. It it, it is everything. It it really is. Otherwise, we can get into that that busyness factor and that piece that you were um, were speaking about in relation to focus and where we can be so scattered. It's incredible how everything is almost set up to scatter our attention with social media, with, you know, the, the reels or the, the stories being so quick that people's attention spans getting shorter and shorter and their focus is getting more and more scattered. It seems like more and more people are being, you know, diagnosed with adult ADHD um, you know, attention deficit disorder. I'm certainly seeing that more and more. And it feels like it's just being amplified with this let's create or people training themselves not to have that focus and then being caught up in the busy, busy, busy work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And with focus is it's really being aware. Where do you channel your focus? Where do you channel your energy? It's really being present and aware where do you channel your energy your precious energy right and then really disciplining yourself right have some morning practices know how you prioritize um, some important tasks in your day right and then you can leave that social media scroll to you know to have just like a little reward at the end of the day just to check in and see what's going on there because otherwise, you won't be productive, you won't be really creating that momentum and creating your big desires in your business, right? Yeah, that's what we're here to do, to fulfill our soul's desires. Oh, Tatiana, I just, I love chatting with you. I could chat, chat to you for, for hours. As we sort of draw our conversation to a close, I'd love to hear what, what would be three things that you'd love our listeners to take away what three tips you'd like them to, to to walk away with yes beautiful so the first one is what i'm seeing in my business and in um, my clients um, opening and growing their businesses is that your heart our heart really determines our altitude in business so for me and for all people who i work with connection to their heart, amplifying their heart energy, their love energy is the number one step to success. Second one is your results in business and life are manifesting in direct proportion to the level of the highest self that you're embodying. 
So you always have to like know and keep in mind what is that next level identity for you, right? So that next level of identity will really create the results because the results are just a reflection of you, of your, the level of the highest self that you're embodying currently right now. And the third one is follow your desires and trust, trust them and, you know, dream big, see big visions and follow them because you are such a powerful creator and you co-create with this amazing source energy and together you create, you create amazing things in, in the world. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, this conversation will be touching people's hearts and really igniting those sparks of, of, of desires. How can people step into your world? I know that you've got a, a, a generous free gift and you're on social media. Tell us all the things. Sure. So what I'm gifting is this very powerful, very special masterclass, how to embody your highest self, how to embody your soul's mission right how to embody your desires and that is so juicy and so delicious you will enjoy the process because you know business it's also all about joy and play and creativity and ease and fun so you will find that process so juicy and delicious and to find me, you can um, you can sign up for my upcoming event, which is in November, purpose to profit academy.com, or you can find me on social media. I am under Tatiana underscore Ivanova underscore live, both on Facebook and Instagram. So you can just, you know, send me a DM, say hi, and we can chat. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so, so much. And thank you for, I hope we'll come back because I could have, carry on having these conversations with you for, uh, for a long time. There's so much here to, to unpack and I hope that this has served everyone who has been listening as well. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Louisa. It was a pleasure being here with you today. Thank you. And thank you everyone who's been listening. We do hope that this has served please do come and say hello. Let us know that you've, uh, you know, tag me and Tatiana on social media so that you've listened and share this episode with whoever it is that you're being called to share it with so they can hear Tatiana's wisdom as well. And until next time, sending you all lots and lots of love. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.